What is going on guys? Digital Digital Gaming with my review of Tokyo Ravens episode 11 and I actually found this episode a lot more funnier than I thought it was going to and I was actually surprised at how this episode actually went on. So it starts off with Su Suzuka or Dairenji. She is greeting uh, Harutora and Natsume and of course she like still acting like Harutora, Harutora is, is her boyfriend. And she's torturing Natsume by making her carry her bag that has this spell on it to make it a lot heavier than it should be. Because we saw that, that today it weighed about 30 pounds at first. So throughout the day she's just like making their day a living hell by making them do all these all these like different tasks for her. Like we saw her getting food, we saw Natsume uh, doing her homework and stuff like that. So eventually, you know, they reached a weekend or, you know, at, at least a day off. And so they thought that, that Suzuka was was not going to bother them. But they were clearly wrong because she actually does end up calling them. But Harutora does, you know, ignore her call. And then she texts Natsume, actually, you know, told him to pick up the phone. But when he did it, he, like, quickly, you know, made him lose connection so, so that she couldn't call again. But she already had everything planned out because she was right there waiting for him. And I also forgot to mention how she was looking in a newspaper about good luck. And apparently like tigers are supposed to bring you luck or something. And so now she was checking out their rooms. And, and Howard Tor, you know, had like these lucky tigers. And he even had this varsity jacket with a tiger on the back of it. But when she got to check Natsume room... I was actually surprised that she was so against it. Like we see that she summons this shadow person and it's like running away but Suzuka quick, quickly takes care of it and then she like then she ties up Natsume so that she can't interfere but she actually had a spell on her door so that she could be the only one to open it but Suzuka quickly you know got, got rid of that spell and when they went in her room was actually pretty normal. But things quickly escalated when it came to her closet because there was like this powerful barrier as we see when Toadie tried to touch it, he got sent flying back into Harutora. And just when Suzuka was actually going to put down the spell so that they could open it because I was definitely curious about what she could be hiding. We have Natsume that, that was crawling toward them and Harutora used Cone to cut the ropes that, that were binding her. So now we just see this dark evil like a presence take over Natsume as she summoned Hokuto which actually you know messed up her, her dorm or you know her room in the process just to keep that closet a secret. So this, this is definitely you know gonna come back in future episodes because we definitely gotta know what's in there because what what is it that is so important that you're not even holding back when it comes to protecting it. Because she already has that that powerful like that the, the, the powerful barrier, and now she had Hokuto guarding it, but she also took Cone that 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 had just freed her and threw her and threw her into Suzuka, and we just see like from their clash something clearly went wrong. So the the following morning, uh, when Harutora was actually waking up, Cone was actually there, but she wasn't invisible. She actually took a physical form like. Like we like we obviously see her do a few times in the series, but she actually what that's what that's what be doing now. So it was kind of odd how she couldn't lose her form. So I definitely thought just like Toji that it had to do from her being thrown into Suzuka when she was you know uh, chanting for that spell, and they really never explain why she couldn't do it. So I'm still wondering like what why was it like that? But now throughout the day, um. Cone was actually spying on Harutora, and she actually took his varsity jacket to hide herself. And now uh, here with the episode, you know, it it, it gets kind of weird, and I, I, I'm sad to admit this, but to me it was kind of stupid, because just because she had an image of a tiger, you know, on the back of the jacket, people thought that there was actually one roaming around in the school, and I'm just like, really, people are seriously thinking that? Like, like to me, that that part was like kind of dumb. But I, but I will admit that it actually made the episode a lot funnier. So I, I, I did enjoy it, but I did find it like, like a little bit stupid though that pe people actually thought that it was like a real tiger doing that though. 
And so, so now while while she's like sneaking around, this 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 whole fiasco just escalate into like a a whole wide search for a tiger, and and Tima, oh my God, I feel bad for this guy, because every time Cone had crossed paths with him, she would knock him out, and even though it was funny, I did feel kind of bad, and I don't know who that guy was. Like I thought at first it might be like his parent or something. Because why else would he react like that? Because it, it, it didn't make much sense. But we, we see that this guy was just like crying over Tema. Like I'm, I'm guessing he thought that he was dead. Because later on, when we see Tema in the infirmary, like this, this guy was still crying over him, but he noticed that that Tema had moved. So I'm guessing that he didn't realize that he had that he was only been knocked out. So now we have another general who I really like, Jin, Jinjiro. He had came with like this entire squad of people, like just to hunt down this tiger because he thought that it was a familiar. But when Suzuka, you know, was overhearing them, she kind of thought that that this could come back to bite her because you know it could get her into trouble, and she's already on probation, so she can't risk getting into more trouble. So now she was helping Cone like escape from the school. With some in invisibility spell, which, which which is obvious that she she did not you know cast at all. So I'm guessing you know she was actually you know trying to trick Cohen into coming with her, because it was obvious that she never used a spell like that. So even though she was she, she was acting all cocky, like even she had her limits. But Jinjiro or you know his crow familiar, they had actually you know found them. And then we see, uh, then we see, we, we see Suzuka use this one spell that like make this smoke, this smoke screen. But uh, Dintro didn't waste any time into heading right in there. And while he was powering up, I was definitely laughing at it because you can tell that he, he definitely what was he doing it seriously. But the, the way that he he was cutting up the uh, the jacket, it was definitely you know it was sad because I definitely know the hard tour. He he did treasure that, so now that he lost it, I don't think that he could get a, a new one that easily. But maybe he can. And and Tojo throughout this episode was like definitely pointing out the obvious about how it was here. So now that he realized that he lost his varsity jacket, you know he was he was definitely sad by that. But we have Cone and Suzuka. They had made it out of the school, but they were quickly found by Otomo. So I like I figured that he always knew that it had to be them or maybe you know maybe he he could sense that it was them because you know his his, his old alias name was Shadow which we still don't know much about but maybe he could like track people and that's how he, he was able to find them so we learned that Suzuka and and uh, Harator they actually got you know a pretty bad scolding from him but at least now everything was okay and Cone could and Cone could now go, can, can become invisible again but I wish that they would have explained more to it because we have no idea what exactly went wrong. But I'm guessing because Toji was right through everything in the entire episode. So maybe he was right about, you know, their clash definitely, you know, messed up her, her spells. But at least now everything is okay. So I'm guessing Otomo or, or whatever effect she was under, you know, it, it, it passed on. Or, you know, it just went away. But at the end of the episode, you know, I'm guessing Suzuka now considers Harutora a friend because we see that she is now sleeping with a tiger. And I think her room was different in the end because we see that she only has that giant stuffed animal. And I believe that every time we have seen her room so far, she had like a lot of stuff in it. So maybe she believes in all, in all this luck stuff. And I was like really surprised after she had through Kong, you know, into, into, into Suzuka. She actually, you know, changed her tone quite a bit because it was kind of like she was following or, you know, obeying Natsume. But I think that was just so that she, she wouldn't get in trouble. But like I said, I found this episode a lot more funnier than I really thought I was. Like, even though that whole tiger thing, it, it was kind of stupid, like I said, it was still pretty funny. So I definitely get it. I, I get the episode like a very high rating. But I am hoping that we'll we'll get to like some more action going down soon. Not that I don't not not that I hate comedy enough because I definitely laugh at at this series because of this. I, I like his comedy a lot, but I also love when these characters fight, and I definitely want to see more development for them. But as always, guys, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out. 
But as always, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you all next time.